The Russian invasion of Ukraine has revealed that even the most progressive economies of the world are still severely dependent on fossil fuel. It exposed the deep fragility of current economic system, which stems from the fact that we still depend on non-renewable sources of energy and generally non-renewable materials, and we consume more of them than Earth can supply. Therefore, funding sustainability isn't merely a new fancy area of finance. It's a matter of survival for human civilization. However, as Einstein said, Solving the problem is impossible on the same level of thinking that created the problem. Therefore, we need to find a new solution stemming from different mindset to solve sustainability issues. We at Stobox believe that asset tokenization is such a new way of thinking, democratic, technology-driven, community-focused. In this video, I'm going to discuss what is this new technology, asset tokenization, and how does it serve to solve the problem that sustainability financing is facing today? Dear viewers, welcome to another issue of Starbucks Insights. We are a consulting and technology company that brought around half a billion assets on blockchain. We have 40 projects spanning five continents, and in this video series we are sharing the results of our research and insight from our practice regarding innovations in capital markets, finance, new types of fundraising units in virtual assets. I encourage you to subscribe if you want to be at the cutting edge of financial technology and receive knowledge you cannot find in a textbook or articles online. Let's start with the discussion of main challenges the sustainability industry faces today, the primary of them being the sheer capital intensity of sustainability transition. Just think about it for a second. We need to literally replace all of the infrastructure that has been built in the last 100 years. Power plants, railroads, manufacturing facilities, all of this needs to be rebuilt in a more sustainable way. We are speaking about dozens of trillions of dollars necessary to facilitate this transition. These capital requirements imply that it's vital to create different ways to invest in different types of financial instruments that would allow basically any investors to become exposed to sustainability industry and make this a participative cause of the entire humanity to collectively finance transition to more sustainable infrastructure. A second significant challenge is an unclear payout period to many such investments. In this regard, sustainability finance is similar to other deep tech investments such as biotech or space tech, when in order to solve challenges, it's necessary to develop technology that don't exist yet. Therefore, we cannot fully predict when those technologies will be developed and when they will reach the commercialization potential, the performance necessary for them to be viable from a business perspective. This is vital for many investors because we crave certainty in our financial deals and especially when it comes to asset managers who need to plan for future capital allocations and who have limited duration of their funds. To solve this issue, it's necessary to create strong liquidity for sustainability assets so that investors could enter and exit at any time. And therefore, it becomes possible for many groups of investors to change over the lifetime of the project. To some extent, these issues are solved by government support, such as carbon credit offsets. However, for many companies it's hard to monetize carbon credits because of lack of open and transparent markets for them. So new technologies need to focus on creating such markets which would make it possible for every company who is eligible to receive carbon credits to sell them without a huge effort. Now here comes the time to introduce asset tokenization as a superior financing infrastructure. In a nutshell, Tokenization is the process of transferring the ownership of an asset into the form of blockchain-based tokens. 
This means that if you hold a certain number of tokens issued by a sustainability project, you are a co-owner of that project, or you have a debt claim on that project, or you are exposed to future revenues or ownership of future intellectual property of the project. Tokens are quite a versatile instrument and there are many different types of economic and legal rights that can be embedded into them. The main idea of tokenization is bringing the benefits of crypto assets to traditional asset classes. These benefits include access for any investor from any corner of the globe, tradability 24-7-365, high degree of ownership transparency which increases trust, and programmability which allows further automation, reduction of costs, and simplification of processes. Now let's discuss four ways in which tokenization facilitates financing sustainability projects. And the first of them is simply providing access to more investors, including retail investors, that is small ones, across the globe. Obviously, there are still legal limitations, but it becomes possible to reduce the minimum investment from a million dollars to, let's say, $50,000 or even $5,000 in certain cases. Crowdfunding or hybrid models, including crowdfunding and institutional syndication, become possible. Basically, thanks to tokenization, a sustainability transition can become collaborative effort of an entire planet. Secondly, and this is probably the most important benefit, tokenization creates liquidity. That is, tokens, unlike many traditional securities, are highly tradable, which means that investors can exit from the investment at any time. This solves the problem of long and uncertain payout periods in deep tech investments in sustainability. Basically, if it is expected that the research will take approximately 10 years, it is reasonable to expect that in 2-3 years there will be a sufficient progress for the value of the project to go up because of uncertainty going down. Therefore, an investor can enter the project only at 2 or 3 years at a stage where it's the most risky and then exit and sell their stake to more conservative investors. So the ownership of the project can go from angels and venture investors to, let's say, private equity funds and family offices and then to mutual funds and pension funds at the time when it becomes commercially viable. Moreover, liquidity makes these assets attractive to the kinds of investors that primarily invest in liquid assets, such as many types of hedge funds or mutual funds. Lastly, liquidity makes it possible to create new financial instruments on top of existing sustainability tokens. For example, it enables futures and options on sustainability tokens. It enables indices of the sustainability sector. So it makes it possible to create the entire sustainability financing ecosystem, which is crucial to bring serious traditional financial players to use strategies that are currently used in the financial markets. And they are important gatekeepers to bring in standard investors like you and me. The third benefit is that not only securities issued by sustainability businesses can be tokenized, but also carbon credits. And this is important because it creates new market where carbon credits can be sold and it brings the same benefits of crypto assets, which include global accessibility and high tradability, which means that monetizing carbon offset it becomes easier and therefore building businesses that are based on this monetization becomes more attractive. If this topic got you curious, I encourage you to watch another video we have on the topic of carbon credits, which goes into more details regarding how this can be done and what are the nuances of tokenizing them. The last but not the least is that tokenization enables creative financing methods with exotic instruments. An example of that is retroactive funding. Imagine that a foundation or a government agency offers a 15 million grant to a company that achieves certain target of energy efficiency. Imagine also that there are 10 companies competing for achieving that target and each of them needs 1 million dollar in financing. These companies 
can issue tokens to raise this financing and these tokens give rise to a future grant that is received if this company achieves a specified target. Imagine that a foundation or a government offers a $5 million grant to a project that achieves a certain level of energy efficiency. Imagine also that there are 10 projects competing for that grant and each of them needs $1 million in funding. So what these projects can do is issue tokens that give their investors a right to receive this grant if the project gets successful in achieving this target. With this approach, investors get a possibility to bet on which company will be the first to achieve that target and the government reduces the total cost of financing because it goes from 10 million to 5 million dollars. Notice that even projects that don't win still end up getting unique experience and developing technologies. Therefore, more teams are brought into developing solutions for climate crisis. This ties back into my initial point that solving a problem requires a more advanced level of thinking. By enabling open access, tokenization fosters a competition of dozens of thousands of millions of creative, hungry minds searching for solutions for financing sustainability transition. If you are a sustainability-focused business, a sustainable finance organization, or simply anybody interested in token-based methods of financing, reach out to us using an email info at stobox.io or be filling in the form on our website stobox.io. We would happily discuss how we can collaborate and help you achieve your goals. Thank you for attention. May you be joyous and peaceful and see you in the next episode.